Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Antoinette here at One Sweet Life where I help busy mamas like you get organized and design a life that you love. In this video, I am going to show you how you can make your own cash envelopes at home if you don't want to purchase one. This is going to be super easy uh, tutorial. You just need to download the free version of Canva and it's C-A-N-V-A dot com if you've never heard of it. So what you're going to do um, on your main page here is click create a design and you're looking for U.S. letter and I can't find it. So I'm just going to search here U.S. letter document and it will pull up a new page for you. <clears throat> and the first thing you're going to do is create your actual envelope. And so... There are so many different size envelopes out there. Like if we Google um, um, envelope sizes, maybe we'll just click on images and see if they have just a regular size. Okay, here we go. So we can do all these different kinds of size envelopes, but the size of money is 2.61 inches wide and 6.14 inches long. So we don't want it smaller than that. And we don't want it too long. So we can go with like 3 inches wide and 7 inches long or three and a half inches wide and seven inches long. It depends on you um, what size you're really looking for. So let's go back here. What you're gonna do is go to elements and this is just a super quick and easy way to make your own envelope. Okay, we're gonna go to shapes and we wanna click this guy here and you can make it whatever color border you want. So see how the the H kind of changes here? You want it to go to three and a half, and then this way the W to seven. There we go. So that is going to be the size of your envelope, three and a half by seven. And what you're going to want to do is center that up. Then we need to create the other flap here and the flap, the flaps on the side and then the top flap. So you're just going to duplicate it. We're going to line it up on the bottom. And then when you fold this flap over, you don't want it to be the same size. Otherwise, it's just going to fold all the way to the top. So we'll make this one a half an inch smaller. So three. So we're going to copy that again. And I'll just drag this in. And then we're going to copy that. So it's the same size on both sides. And this actually needs to be a little bit shorter. Otherwise, it'll get in the way when you're folding. So now, the last thing we need to do Let's copy that. Let's make that an inch. There. And then you can select these to align center. And these three, you want to align, oops, you want to align the 
up top. There we go. So there we go, there is our envelope. And then you can go ahead and duplicate that again. And if you wanna make these um, borders thinner, all you have to do is go in diagonally and the border outline will be thinner. You can drag that in the middle. A little bit thinner. And then you bring out the sides to make it rectangular. There. So there is your envelope. You have the top flap, the main envelope, then you have the bottom here that'll come back up onto the other side, and then you have your side flaps that'll come in. And if you don't want this to be black and white, what you can do so it doesn't take up the entire page is add a grid. I'm gonna bring it down here. So I guess the, flap, the flaps don't really need any patterns, do they? So the grid will be there. And then um, you can go to templates if you want, or not templates, sorry, photos, and look up patterns. Switch in. So we want the grid to be in the front for a minute. Switch in backward. Okay, there we go. We want the grid to be in front so we can add the pattern on there. Here we go. Okay, so let's find this one here. So there's that. And then what you would do is position it to the back. There you go, voila. There's one for you. Um, let's find another one. I wish these weren't all, oh, here's like a geometric pattern here we can use. There. Isn't that pretty? So now you can create your own kind of envelopes with different patterns too. Here's a cute one. There we go. It's all florally. And then for this, actually, what you want to do, because it's, see how the pattern's showing up in there? We want to add another element, which would be a square, or a white one, and go in there. And technically, you don't have to have that outline if you don't want to. If you don't want an outline box, if you just want a regular white box, you can just add that box there, or if you do want the outline, I just want to make the white box a little bit smaller. And then position that backward. There you go. There's your envelope. And um, all you have to do is print it out and cut the outside right here, all along the outside here. And then you would fold along the creases right here. Let me see if I can put a dotted line to show you. Um, let's find a line here, a dotted line in pink. That'll work. So these lines here, would be folding. This one, this one, this one, and this one. Those, so those ones would be the folding lines and you just cut around the exterior of the envelope. Then another thing, a final tip for you, um, if you don't want to write out your um, your category on the envelope by yourself, if you um, want special font, you can come in here and go to text and add a subheading, come up here. And if you want something that's more like script, you can come in here and add handwriting, click on handwriting. And you will have to filter through, like the ones with the crowns are the pros. So you have to pay monthly for that one. So you wanna 
find ones that don't have the crown there. So you can click like shadow, here's one font. And then you can come in here and click and type in groceries. Make it a little bit bigger. And then if you want to space out the, the letters a little bit, you, you can come to this and then, you know, um, move the slider back and forth to where you like it. And then come to the A here with the colors and change the color for that if you want to. And I love how they have this now where they have the colors in the photo. So you can kind of play around with that too to see which color you want to add there. So that is one more way to make it your own. And then after you're done with your design, you're going to come up here, click the drop down arrow, um, click download, and then download it as a PDF print. So I hope that this helped you. Um, if you're looking to make cash um, envelopes at home, um, this will help you kind of create your own on Canva. And if you just want like a plain minimal envelope, I do have some for sale in my shop. Um, I will put a link for you in the description box so you can check those out if you don't want to come here and have to struggle and make your own. Um, they will be there for you. And um, if you enjoyed this video, I would love for you to like it and leave me a comment below if this is like more tutorial videos that you'd like to see. Um, I will be glad to do that for you. And that is all for today and I will catch you next time.